ever wanted to look like Super Spy Natasha Romanoff, well now you can. With this makeup tutorial, I will show you how. Enjoy! First, we'll start off with an e.l.f. primer. Squirt just a little bit, and then later put on all over your face. Gently. After that's done, you use Dirty Candy Glow Primer. Put it underneath your eyes, nose, underneath your lips forehead and a little bit on your cheeks if that's optional just to have contouring illuminating effect. Next use liquid foundation, apply all over your face, eyelids, above the illumination, illuminating primer, Now we're going to use ELF's under eye powder. What's really good about this eye powder is I can get rid of the dark circles and bags underneath your eyes and gives the appearance of no bags. After that, use sealing powder from ELF. What I like about this powder is that not only because it's cheap, but also it's also very good quality and apply it all over your face and neck. After that's done, we will move on to eyebrows. Color in your eyebrows to the color that you want and then later apply in clear gel to sculpt your eyebrows. Use the white marker to, to color in the eyebrows because you're going to use a lighter color because Natasha has red hair. Next use eyelid primer and rub it all over the top eyelid of your eyes. This will make your eyeshadow last longer. Dab it on gently because eyelids are very sensitive. Next, use a beige color as a base on your eyelid. Apply it all over your eyelid close to your brow bone as well. Next, we're gonna use a sand color and apply it on the crease of your eyelids just to give it that natural look. Later, use your dark brown color and apply it on the edge of your eyelid just like that and then just rub it in to contour your eyes to give ScarJo's look. Next, use gel eyeliner. I like using gel eyeliner because it does not run and it's very easy to sculpt. Um, whatever you want on your eyes. Make sure to apply just a little bit to make it look as natural as possible because Natasha Romanoff does not use a lot of makeup in the movies or in the comics. Well, in the comics she uses just a little bit more, but I'm going to go for a movie look. Next, use ultra waterproof liner, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and go over your eye shape, the line that you drew originally on your gel eyeliner, and this will make it last all day. Next, use an eyeliner pencil and draw underneath the water lines of your eyes and sculpt and shape whatever you want. For me, I drew it underneath because I wanted to make my eyes look a little bit wider like Scarlett Johansson's, a little bit bigger. Next, use an eyelash curler and then Colossal Lashes mascara. Just gently curl your lashes to the shape that you want until you are happy. Next, prime your eyelids with Colossal Mascara. What I like about this mascara is that it defines your eyes and makes your eyes look bigger. Next, use Elf's Contouring Palette. 
I will use a light shade bronzer and then I will contour the sides of my nose to make my nose appear thinner. Once that is done, contour the sides of your face with a contour brush just to have the illusion of high cheekbones well-defined cheekbones actually <laughs> and also feel free to put some on your forehead as well just sculpt your face to whatever shape you want or give the illusion of whatever shape you want Next, use NYX, NYX Lip Liner, and the NYX Lip Liner is very natural looking so I chose a light pink rosebud color because Black Widow's lips in the movie are a natural color. Next, I will use a very very light rouge or pink, light pink color lipstick and then later on I will use Shiseido's lipstick and then it's a new color and blend it, in, blend it in with the other lip color and then you're done with the lips put on your wig put on your widow bites and your black widow costume and you are ready to be the master assassin black widow Natasha Romanoff I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial please click subscribe and stay tuned for more videos that I will upload in the future. Thanks! Bye!